From having to pretend that they're cast members in a show, to guarding the secret of their roles by taking it to their graves, these are the strict rules Disney World employees have to follow. First off, you've got to get their names right, because Disney World has no employees and everyone who works there is a cast member. If that sounds a little culty, don't be alarmed. As according to CEO Bob Iger, the reason why employees are called cast members is because the parks are all giant shows. That means everyone who works there has got to be in character. And as you'll see in this video, there are lots of weird details in the script that they follow. Just as an example, not only are all employees called cast members, but no two people in any team can have the same name. That's because Walt himself imposed a rule on his cast members that everyone has to be on a first name basis, which can get confusing if Jennifer has to tell Jennifer what to do. I think I've set the tone for the strictness of the rules, and this next one might disappoint some of y'all hoping to join the cast. If you like tattoos, don't bother applying for a job with Disney. The company has a strict ban on any tattoos that could be seen while you're in your work uniform, no matter how small it is. Though if the tattoo is somewhere that won't be visible in your getup, the mouse will let it slide. Why the ban on tattoos? I guess the thinking is that tattoos don't really belong in the Disney World, which is what customers expect when they step into the park called Disney World. Here's something that'll surprise you even more. Tattoos are also banned for visitors. I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm kidding a little bit. You can visit a Disney park if you have tattoos, but the staff reserve the right to kick you out if they decide the tattoo is offensive in some way. Tattoos aren't the only things forbidden to the cast members, as there are limits on what kind of jewelry you can wear. Don't worry, Mickey won't cut off your finger for wearing a wedding ring. Wedding rings are actually given a pass on these rules, which specify what other kinds of jewelry their cast members can wear. They can only have one ring per hand and they're limited to basic earrings, bracelets, necklaces, and watches. Speaking of piercings, cast members can only wear one pair of earrings at a time, and all other body piercings must come off while you're on the job. Toe rings and ankle bracelets are totally off limits, and if you've got body mods like ear gauges, tongue splitting, or tooth fillings, just apply elsewhere. Disney discourages their cast members from showing off too much of their own personalities. On the bright side, you can take jewelry off and put it on again, which can't be said for tattoos. At this point, the only room for personal expression would be a cool hairdo, right? Nope, the mouse has rules about that too. If you aren't dressed up as a character, Disney requires cast members to have a polished and clean-cut appearance, which extends to their hairstyles. Men's hair must be short enough so that it doesn't fall past their ears or shirt collars, while women can keep their hair long, but they have to style it in a simple way that can be tied back to keep their faces clear. Braids are okay, as long as you don't have beads or charms in them, while bright and unnatural hair dye is a no-no. And here's a fun turnaround for you. While men can't keep their hair long, women aren't allowed to keep their hair short. On a similar note, both guys and girls have to follow rules about their nails, which must be kept short and clean. The ladies can have nails extending a quarter inch past their fingertips and no more. Nail polish is okay as long as the shade is subtle and neutral, without any sparkles or fun nail art. If it sounds like being a regular cast member is tough, do spare a thought for the ones who play the iconic Disney characters because they can't act like a real human for even one second. Cast members who will play Disney's characters are trained on how to act when they're on the clock, and they're not allowed to break character for any reason under any circumstances. So, if you're, say, Ariel, you have to stay happy and bubbly all the time, and you've got to keep talking about the sea, even if you're actually scared of water. In a way, the reason for this is kind of understandable. If a kid who loves The Little Mermaid caught Ariel hiding in a corner and texting on an iPhone, it'd really break the illusion that Disney worked so hard to create in the park. One of the ways in which cast members have to stick to their role is by controlling their own fan reactions. And that's harder than you might think. There's a reason why Disney's parks are so successful. Their movies have touched people from all walks of life. Some of those people have become celebrities, but being famous doesn't mean you can't go to Disney World. The cast members at the parks are folks like you and me, and what's a fella to do when their favorite artist or actor or influencer turns up? Unfortunately, cast members aren't allowed to break character, even in this situation, and they're required to treat celebrity guests just like any other guest, with a hint of a VIP touch maybe. 
You might tell your friends about the time you met your favorite artist at your job, but you aren't allowed to get an autograph or take a picture with them. I suppose celebrities are humans too, and they're allowed to have a normal experience at a Disney park. But the extent to which the cast members are forced to keep up the act can reach some shocking levels, like the fact that they have a code. Many customer-facing roles have codes for some emergencies because you don't want your visitors to know that something is wrong. Disney, as usual, takes things to the next level, and cast members have to memorize a whole bunch of code words for different things. For example, since this is a place that draws a lot of kids, you might hear cast members refer to code Vs, which are vomiting incidents. The codes go further than you might expect, though. If you heard Goofy yelling in a very human voice that a fire is broken out, that'd totally shatter the illusion of the park, so cast members refer to fires as Signal 25s. When a Signal 25 does happen, cast members aren't allowed to react the way you or I would. They have to keep calm and retain their composure, especially if they end up evacuating an area of the park. That's not the only struggle of the cast member life because it can be hard for them to get a bite to eat. How many times do you see characters in a Disney movie wolf down a packed lunch? Not very often, right? Well, that's precisely why Disney cast members aren't allowed to eat in public. It's not like the cast members aren't allowed meal breaks at all, we'll talk about Amazon some other day. But when a cast member is allowed to take a lunch or dinner break, they can either change out of their costume so they can stay in the park and eat, or they have to rush to one of the cafeterias backstage, which could be far from where the cast member was working. Disney's commitment to the illusion gets even worse, as cast members aren't allowed to say, I don't know. Anyone who's ever worked a customer service job knows that you have to act like you know everything about your department. But if you work for Disney as a cast member, you're required to know everything about every department. Guests can't tell the differences between cast members of different teams, so they could approach any one of them and ask about anything. And Disney is adamant that you can never tell a guest you don't know something. The most you could do is cleverly lead the guest to someone who could actually help them. But even there, you can't make it look like you didn't know what to do yourself. As tough as this job is, you might think that cast members at least get a side of bragging rights to go with it. After all, they're working at freaking Disney World. Unfortunately, bragging rights aren't a benefit of the job. It's not that you have to be totally secretive about your work as a cast member, but you can't reveal yourself on the internet either. You can't post your pictures in costume, you can't film stuff at work, and you definitely can't tell stories about it in a public place. The most you can do is share details of your work life with your friends and family. But you know how the rest of the song goes by now, anything else will shatter the illusion of the park. So from a ban on social media posts to being forced to call themselves cast members, those were the strict rules Disney World employees have to follow.